I was all set for it to be a beautiful day and then the heavens opened as I approached the woodland. It's uh, just stopped now, I kind of hung around inside the truck, the edge of the woodland <laughs> until it stopped. Um, probably be back so I should get set up and uh, today I'm setting up or building a bubble wrap tent. So I uh, need to get the frame up and we'll talk a bit about that and uh, get on with it. There's <laughs> a bit to do. And here's the frame I'm going to be using. You can probably tell from the colour and materials, this is actually a greenhouse frame. I was originally going to be building this out of UPVC pipes and joints, and I'm adding it up and finding the different kind of connectors and everything. And then I just stumbled across, you know, greenhouse connectors, and I was like, that's going to be a much cheaper way of doing this, <laughs> and easier as well. So I've got all the connectors, got the bits there. It's only a small kind of greenhouse, so we'll get that frame up and then we'll go from there. First up we've got the long sections, they can slot together themselves so they're nice and easy. They got built on connectors. Now time for these freeway connectors. Some easy uprights. Right, that's the frame up and that's the easy bit done. Next, just to coat it in this, I've got a massive roll of like the big bubble bubble wrap. And um, yeah, we're gonna need a floor, we're gonna need walls and we're gonna need a roof. And hopefully the idea is it should insulate a little as well. Right, time to get in this. I think my idea here is to go a little extra and wrap it around the frame. Look at that, perfect. And just ordinary parcel tape. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've just taped it on the edges there as well, just so it's not moving around. Um, my plan is to do the front and back, the large sides, and then take the roof all the way over the top and down the uh, short sides. And um, that should mean any rain would like run off rather than in, hopefully. <laughs> Be rude not to. <laughs> I do have a rough plan with this. Um, they do overlap slightly on the front here. They're wide enough to for the doorway. Uh, I'm going to put the other one on and then we'll figure the rest of that out. Right, it's so the front and the back panels done. It's starting to catch the wind as the wind's picking up now. So I've put a couple of pegs in. I'm not sure what good they'll do, but um, I'll probably have to put some weight inside. <laughs> Right, that's more or less it with the skinning of it. Pretty happy. The wind was catching it, but it seems to have died down a little bit now. I put a couple of pegs in that side. Um, yeah, it shouldn't go over while I'm in it, I wouldn't have thought. It's actually looking pretty good. <laughs> now I've got um, 
this, it's adhesive velcro strips and this, my intention anyway, is to use like for the door so uh, I'm going to slit the bottom there and have like an L-shaped strip and we'll uh, see how that goes Alright, so this is the idea where this overlap is just to place this in and then take off the backing and place that on it and then I'll slit the bottom and try that <laughs> Kind of one shot here because it's going to tear if I have to take it off again. Well, step one's kind of worked. <laughs> Time for step two. So I've got to kind of pull it taut as I do it. Maybe it would have been better to be inside. Seems to work. Uh, it's a bit of a worry, but I'm going to have to cut along here now. Um, I might actually do it a little higher. Well, that seems to kind of work. <laughs> um, yeah, I got it quite late today because uh, I come back from a camp yesterday quite late. I was out with Mark MDM, Steve the Steak Detective and Mike TA Outdoors. And on that trip I learned that <laughs> Mike has actually done a bubble wrap shelter already. Now, I've been told he did it slightly different to how I am, but um, I, the uh, wheels are already in motion for this, so <laughs> I've got his blessing. Just because some people think two people can't independently have the same idea. <laughs> right, I've got something novel for a mat today. Alright, so this and this, um, if you've ever ordered maybe like a bottle of wine or something online you'll find you get this long thin bubble wrap goes around something like that and uh, this is how it comes, sort of flat packed and I have to inflate and stick down each baffle and this is going to be my mat, I may have to do two kind of rows of this <laughs> but uh, I get these silly ideas in my head I'd like to try and keep this uh, not muddy if I can now, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Does this open up? This should stick in and then reseal after. Here we go. Oh! Alright, this is going to take a while. It's not the inflation that takes a while. The getting it in, Ooh, uh. and then just press it down, reseals. Only another 300 to go. Oh. This is horrible. Must have been at it half hour, and I've done that. And a few of them don't stay inflated. <laughs> well, two of these to do. This, there must be an easier way than this when you do it commercially. Well, that's the first one in there, because it's quite wide I'm going to have to do one more. I'm starting to pick up pace a bit now, there's like two or there's like three bits of material at the bottom you have to get right in between all of them and the ones that um, went down again I was putting it in too far um, past the actual seal. One more <laughs> now I've got wood to do. Right so that's two full length inflated mats hopefully absorb the worst of it. I might do a couple more, but uh, I need to sort some firewood.
Well, getting spits and spats of rain, but nothing serious. Took me out if I was getting hot. <laughs> Started to get cold and then did the wood, got hot. Um, wind hasn't picked up anymore, so the tent hasn't gone over again because it's hardly pegged in these tiny little uh, shepherd hook ones. <laughs> but uh, she'll do for now. Uh, I suppose I should get chopping before we lose light. Got a pretty good amount of wood there. It's a shame I didn't really have time to put uh, two layers of bubble wrap on, but it's it's not as cold as it was now. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be fine, whatever. Just be interesting to see, really, as a concept. Uh, I'll try and do another mat as well, just to make myself a bit more comfortable tonight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna break down a bit of wood because it's been very, very wet. Rained pretty much the whole time we was uh, camping day before yesterday as a group. No video on that one, I'm afraid. We was all just sort of chilling, getting to know each other and stuff. We'll see in the future. So yeah, just gonna break down some of this with the knife. And uh, it's probably gonna get dark very soon. Still on the BPS knives and they are holding up very well. Let's just break down some of this. Just uh, stop for a minute while I enjoy some of this. It's Lithuanian cheese and onion, I guess pork jerky. It's very nice. Chewy. Um, what I need to do, put my sleep system in, I guess. Well, a sleeping bag. <laughs> Got a pillow as well. And a lantern. I think once I get a fire going, I'm gonna pump up another mat. <laughs> Currently spitting. It's just starting to get dark now, so I'm just gonna get the fire lay prepped. I'm not even sure what fire lighters are what I've got with me. We'll have a little look. Let's see if we can get this to take a spark. There we go, damn good that ferro rod. Put it back on the sheaf.
just seeing what it looks like with the lights in there. One thing that didn't really cross my mind is I'm in a see-through tent again. <laughs> I guess with a couple of layers it would have been a bit more opaque, but uh, not quite as bad as last time. Oh, it's a bit smoky here. <laughs> Got dark pretty quick as well. I mean, it's not fully dark, just getting into twilight now, but yeah, it come on quite fast. I was setting up the lights, trying to get sort of thumbnail shots and stuff, and suddenly it was dark. It does look funny, doesn't it? It should hold up. It's been raining for the last 45 minutes, just really lightly, so we shouldn't get anything too heavy. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> there we go, got a proper light in there now, hanging up. This is going to need to grow a bit, isn't it? Especially if I'm going to cook my dinner. Ooh. Just done another mat while I've been sat here. So that's three. So I can either have two and one next to me, or three if that's not enough. We shall see. Oh God, this smoke is just swirling. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I think it's time for a well-deserved beer. Been non-stop, got a session, Hopadelic from By The Horns. Had this on the last video as well. They sent a few along and it's a very nice session IPA. Oh yes, got a couple with me, I need them. <laughs> Whew. One thing I didn't mention is that this greenhouse frame is the exact same length that I am. <laughs> so, thinking there's no vents on here, so unless it does rain, I might open the doorway a little bit for a little ventilation, because <laughs> my head's probably going to be touching and uh, probably have some condensation. <laughs> Saying that, kind of, I kind of sleep in a fetal position, it's just if I stretch out really. See how we go. <laughs> Right, starting dinner, it's going to be a katsu curry. I've got a chicken breast in here. I just splayed it out with the knife a bit. I'm just going to give it a bit of a wallop with saucepan. Perfect, nice and flat. All right, I've got a pot of batter mixed up here and in the chicken breast is going. That nice and coated and that's going to go into these breadcrumbs. We're well, trying to get everything sorted here. I've got some katsu curry sauce in here. I'm not making it from scratch today. And in here I've got some Uncle Ben's rice. And we're just going to top that up with some water. And we're all prepped. So now should be pretty easy cook, which is good because I just want to sit down and have a drink. <laughs> just going to knock this back a bit. Oh, that's quite a lot of coals there. And I've got the Biddy Big Q grill with me, which hasn't been used lately. Not really much since uh, Mark trod on it and bent it. <laughs> pan with some oil in on the grill there. Before I fry the chicken I'm just going to fry off some vegetables first. Monge to baby sweet corn. Uh, put these vegetables in the sauce now. And chicken time.
This is one of the smokiest fire pits I've ever had. It's just swirling around this spot. First off is going to be our chicken. It's got a big bit of chicken. Right, here's our rice. And our katsu sauce. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? How about that for a thing of beauty? <laughs> Don't think I've done katsu curry camping before. All right, it's going to be hot. Let's try a bit of the chicken. Wow, that is crispy. That is good. Try some of the rice and sauce. A bit of baby sweet corn. Mm. Needed a couple of vegetables in there, I think. Mange too. Hmm. I was actually a bit worried about doing one chicken breast rather than two. I needn't have worried. There's <laughs> quite a lot of food here. Beautiful. Get the smoky fire pit going again. I've chilled down again now I'm away from the fire and cooking. That food was really nice. Sorry I didn't make everything from scratch but uh, yeah it was a little bit of a rush after getting home yesterday trying to dry everything out and pack again to get out. Got one more beer. And I'm going to sit and relax, let this uh, smoky fire burn down. I'm guessing it's just all the moisture in the ground. And the fact there's not really any wind, so it's just kind of circling in here. And then uh, we're going to have to get in there. <laughs> it's going to be an experience. <laughs> No, the whole floor being like this is quite nice actually. <laughs> oh, I think I've got a something hard under one spot. But yeah, I quite like this. I don't know what it's going to be like to sleep on, hot spots and such. But I've got my extra pad and I can double up the others if I need to. I might be on an ever so slight slope here, so yeah, that's something to contend with. <laughs> but uh, quite cosy. I've been chilling in here for a bit now and um, quite comfortable really, quite liking it. I'm going to put my thermals on and get myself off to bed and see how the night goes. It's been on and off spitting, I don't think we're going to get heavy heavy rain, but you know, <laughs> we'll see, I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning guys, a nice morning, it's not overly cold, it's just a little chilly. Um, I don't know if the bubble wrap really performed in any <laughs> meaningful way, not one layer of it anyway. The, um, the floor is quite nice, you know, just to be on, but to sleep on, no. It uh, had hot spots, I spent a lot of the night on my back, which is not how I normally sleep, but it meant my hip 
wasn't digging in. <laughs> Woke up a few times. But it worked. I mean, it didn't rain much more. Just some more spitting and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's pretty early. <laughs> Clocks will be changing soon. But yeah, it's getting light pretty early. And when you're in a see-through tent, <laughs> can't help but wake up. So up I am. Good to see life returning to the woodland, slowly but surely, every time I go out, it's a little bit more green. Looking forward to it. <laughs> The woodpecker was going for it just over here when I was in the tent earlier. It sounds like he's back just over there now. Wrong cue. <laughs> pan with a bit of oil there and my cup with some water in. Well it's a breakfast muffin today and well it's like the law to open a muffin this way isn't it? <laughs> The sausage patties are nearly done. I haven't got an egg ring on me. I was going to bring one. Oh, just pulling off shell here. What a mess. Let's get that out. Quick toast of the muffin. Got one of our patties. Have another slice of cheese, I think. Maybe some ketchup. Oh, that needed a mix. <laughs> another patty. Which is just going to burst. <laughs> I think this is going to be messy. I was going to have one patty, but um, they were quite thin. <laughs> messy. Mm, nice though. Breakfast was delicious actually, um, had a chill and then cleaned everything up, extinguished the fire, just leaving that to tidy it up 
It's time for the fun bit. <laughs> Taking all this down with all that sellotape on it. Check out them mats first. A knife we've made here. More packed up, the fire's been tidied, um, looking pretty good and leave no tracy around here, no bits of plastic or anything. Um, it was an interesting one, don't know if I'd say successful, I mean it worked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was something different. Thank you guys for watching and um, we'll see what weird thing I'm in next week. <laughs> Goodbye for now.